Hi music students, it's Miss Wacker at home again and today we're going to do a little bit of music and a little bit of science because we're going to do a music experiment to create a water glass xylophone together using acoustics or the science of sound. We're going to talk a little bit about the science first and then about the musical side of this but here's what you need to get together so you can do this at home on your own. Also you need a pitcher of water, a measuring cup, a few different utensils from your kitchen to use as mallets, assorted glasses. Make sure that you have permission to use everything you're using today, especially if you're using any glasses that are tippy or very delicate, and make sure to set down towels wherever you're working just in case you have any spills. Get those things together, and first we're going to talk about acoustics, the science of sound. When we're talking about acoustics or the science of sound, first thing we want to remember is that all sounds are made by vibration. So if I take something that I'm going to use as my mallet like a spoon today, the first thing I want to do is listen to the sounds of all the glasses that I might use before I put any water in at all. All these glasses are empty and think right now, make a prediction. Do you think they'll all sound the same or they'll all sound different? Let's take a listen. Some sound the same and some sound different. So first for our experiment, I'm going to take out the ones that sound different. I'm going to use these three. I'm going to work with glasses that sound pretty much the same. It doesn't necessarily mean they'll be the same. They're the same size of glass because of the thickness of the glass and how tall they are, they're gonna make different sounds based on how the vibration of air travels through that empty glass. So we're gonna work with these three, and first I'm gonna see what happens if I add the same amount of water to all of these, will they still sound the same? Make a prediction and join me and see what does it sound like if I add about a half a cup of water to each one. See if they all change the same amount. They all sound pretty much the same. This is a good time to take a few different tools from your kitchen. Metal sounds about the same, or a wooden spoon. And see how that changes the sound. Pick the tool that you like the best and go on to add some different amounts of water to the cups to see how they change. I'm going to leave just one half a cup in this cup and I'm going to add a full cup and I add another full cup to this one to make these each a half, a full, and one and a half cups each. Let's take a listen to how these sound. Now this is just a half a cup, a whole cup, and a cup and a half of water. So you see as we add water, the sound gets lower. That's because the vibration is traveling through more water now and it's making those sound waves become longer and lower. Just like if I was looking at a harp string, the one that has less material that's a shorter string would sound higher. The more material that vibration is moving through, the string will sound lower, just like this. I'm going to give you a musical challenge for the second part of this experiment. Using the different glasses that you have around the house, see if you can use your musical ear to make a scale of glasses. It'll sound like a scale on a piano or my harp, like this. Once you have a scale or a group of notes put together, you can use your water glass xylophone to make up a song of your own or play a song that you already know. Let's see if we can do it. Now it definitely took some time and some experimenting, but using different glasses from around the house and different amounts of water, I've been able to make my musical water glass xylophone that sounds like the musical scale, just like this. Now 
Now, if you remember, adding more water makes the pitch lower. So I'm going to do something that you could do if you want to make it a little more pretty and a little more fun. I'm going to add some food coloring to help you see how much water is in each of my different glasses. Now, as you can see, there's actually no water in my last glass. That one is empty to be the highest dough. In my lowest dough, I had to find a bigger, larger shape to make the vibration correct. Now, I can see if I can make up a song of my own. Like this. Or I could try to play a song that I know. Something like Twinkle Twinkle Little Stars or Mary Had a Little Lamb, like this. Now I would absolutely love to see some water glass xylophones that you've made, some songs you've created at home. Involve brothers and sisters, involve the whole family, and make a video or a picture and send it to me at cwacker at augprep.org. I would love to see your musical scientific experiment, and I hope you have fun playing with your water glass xylophone. I'll see you next time.